Good day. Today we're going to uh, show you how you can go about uh, clearing up the flooded print head um, on your Ultimaker 2. Here we have a uh, Ultimaker 2 which has um, a flooded print head. You can see just see the material that's built up be between the nozzle and the print uh, housing. First thing we we'll want to do is unscrew these four screws on either side, one, two, and three, four. Now we've removed the four screws on the side for the metal fan shroud. So we can go ahead and slide that metal sh fan shroud away. Just be careful with the back. Uh, to keep it, um, make sure the cab cable's out of the way. Grab some um, uh, some uh, painter's tape, duct tape, uh, just to um, keep that fan shroud out of, of out of the way. So we've taped up the fan shroud while it's still connected with some uh, uh, masking tape. Uh, just put it out of the way so that we can access the this um, print flat. To be honest, this uh, print flat doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty um, easy to um, um, fix. Um, we've seen I've seen worse than this as well, and uh, it's uh, usually scarier than it looks. But um, now that we've done that, we want to go down to the settings, uh, have the printer powered on, go to maintenance, advance, heat up the nozzle. So we want to bring up the temperature of the nozzle up to melting point, which is um, depending on the material that you have. I believe the material here is um, PLA. So we're going to just bump it up to about, say, 220. That should um, help soften the material around the nozzle and heating element. So just wait until it reaches about that temperature. And once it hits that, just let, let the heat do some of the work and um, soften the material around um, that plastic build up. So the next thing we want to do while we're waiting for that to heat up, we want to get some supplies. So these are some of the supplies that you'll need. Uh, most importantly, uh, gloves to protect your fingers. Uh, next thing is um, some uh, a flathead screwdriver, just in case. Uh, most importantly. Uh, this uh, needle nose pliers and a brass wire brush if you have one in handy. So we're gonna gonna let that heat up. You can see some of the material is kind of softening around the edges. You can actually just leave it for a while see if that um, softens anymore. Now we've uh, let the nozzle heat up for a while. Got our safety gloves, our needle nose pliers. You want to gently uh, pull on it. There you go, you can see it's uh, soft enough that you can remove some of the plastic. Just be very gentle, not to use any force. Just let the heat do most of the work. You find that um, there's plastic. Be careful because um, it's all molten plastic. Make sure it doesn't get onto your skin. That's why it's important to have a protective glove. 
if you find there's some part that is not m melted, um, just use your needle nose pliers and push up against the heated element. Just patiently let it heat up and as it heats up, the plastic will soften. Now you can see the chunk has fallen off from the head. Still a bit of um, material around the print head. So that's, uh, that's pretty easy. Now all we need to do is just get the needle nose pliers and just um, scrape off any excess. Gently, especially around the wires. keep doing that until you've cleaned up all the plastic. Big rag, thick rag and just wipe while it's still hot and be careful just wipe all around the nozzle. You can see that the nozzle here is quite loose, hasn't been fitted properly to the to the heater block. You recall um, I suggested having a flat head screwdriver handy. This is where it comes in. I use your flat head screwdriver and you can scrape off any excess, especially that's on top of the nozzle, off the heated element. Keep doing that until you've got nothing left. So we cleaned up most of the material. I mentioned um, it's good to have a brass wire brush. Just make sure it's brass because the material is brass as well. So uh, you don't want, you don't want anything harder, which, which will damage the the nozzle. So what you do is just use a brush and just clean that. There we have it. Well done.